then I've noticed that I'm really addicted to nail polishes but only after being addicted to handbags and then realizing that I have every handbag that pretty much before I get started I want to tell you guys I am so excited because I finally got the internet restored in my house and we switched from DirecTV to AT&T U-verse and the correlation is U-verse is like you get your your internet and your um your television together and it all runs through your modem and it's so cool. I I just can't. I'm so excited. So you guys may see a difference. I'm actually sitting in my living room. So the first one that I love this um, season. But I plan on taking a picture and it will, you'll see it right now. I also started, another thing is I also started a blog on Blogspot and I will link that below so you guys can read it and I reviewed all of these and this one is really gorgeous. I'm not a huge fan of glitter but I just really, really love this one. And it's like, at first glance, you can't really tell it's glitter. It can be worn by itself or on top of a different color, which I'll show you later. I love, which I'm wearing right now, is Revlon's 917 Plum Seduction. And it's this gorgeous fuchsia color. You can see it on my nails. You might have seen this in my first ever haul video, and I really love this because it's bright and it's a pop of color that I always love adding to my outfits. This rose color by Zoya, and it is called Kate. I absolutely love this color, and it's just so feminine and gorgeous. There's the very muted color called Minimalistic by Essie. And I like this color because it's like a perfect, just when, on a day where you don't really feel like having, wearing nail polish. But at the same time, if you're like the type of person where you don't like having bare nails, I just put this on. My second Essie is number 383, Innocent. 383. love this color because it's kind of like this color but a lot lighter and it's also gorgeous and very matte and creamy and I usually I've done I put this the time to shine on top of this one and it's so pretty like it looks gorgeous together this one by OPI called dating a royal and this is to me is the perfect blue color and it's, it's still, like I said in my blog, it's still cute enough to be kind of eccentric. But at the same time, it's, you could still kind of pass it in a professional environment. And I wear this all the time, and I'm actually running out of this. It makes me sad. But I'm really excited about this. And another thing is, whenever I, when I saw this color, it was during, like, the royal wedding. And I was thinking, oh, my gosh, what if Kate Middleton, the future queen of England, wore this? I mean, why not? What else do I have to say about it? It's so good. And gorgeous. another great signature color of mine is Got the Blues for Red. The perfect burgundy red color. And I just love it. And it says fall. It just reminds me of fall. And I used to be strictly this color. Like, I have 14 million different shades of this red. But this is the perfect one. And I'm so happy I found this. And you guys probably also saw this in my haul video, and it's Fiercely Fiona, and it's from the Shrek collection. I think it's so cute. And the only thing about this is it goes on, but you have to do a lot of layers. I think I had to do three layers of this, but once you do it, it's so cute. And I just love these gorgeous, like, pops of color. And this is just adorable. And I know, like, it's almost fall and I can't really get away with this anymore, but I wear black all the time, so this would just be, like, a statement on my nails. The first of which is the Jo Malone London Orange Blossom Cologne, 
And trust me, it says cologne, but it's for women. And it just smells so amazing and fresh and just, just a hint of flower and... I really love this and it's one of my signatures and honestly I've had this for three years and look how much I still have left. It's amazing. And I really want to get the jasmine. I think there's a one that smells like jasmine and I really love that. It's my favorite tea and scent. Chloe. Chloe perfume. And this is actually a stronger smell that I usually like but I think it's very beautiful and very feminine and if this is more a nighttime. Um, fragrance and again I've had this for about a year or so and look I've only used that much barely scratch the surface of it and I really really so really yeah like those are the items I have to show you guys and I have gotten a few comments saying that my videos have been a little dull and usually that might kind of offend me because I I mean they say thespians or actresses are a little bit um sensitive and I am sensitive but at the same time I appreciate the feedback from you guys so keep them coming but at the same time you know it's like if you're gonna say something that's you consider constructive criticism think about how you're gonna take it and then before you say it so anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I think the next video I'm gonna do is the accent tag I'm not quite sure but go enjoy your day the last day. if you guys are still on summer vacation Go enjoy your rest of your summer vacation as are having a fantastic day, a fantastic Thursday. It's almost the weekend and this will be posted in a little bit. I'm going to edit it right now. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Tag me in a video, subscribe, comment. Thank you so much. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video.